Okay, hi guys. So, um, some of you will have seen the video where I picked up uh, the ZX12R a few months ago. Um, a little backstory. I've always wanted a ZX12R to go along with the 11 and the 14. And the problem is, apparently, there was only three in the Philippines. And the last one advertised for sale was 2005. Okay, so a long time ago. So I've really given up hope uh, about ever getting hold of one. And then, luckily for me, unluckily for him, um, a guy who'd owned uh, this one since new, 2005, uh, because of medical reasons, uh, he had to give up riding. So he advertised it for sale. I went round and as I, in the other video, it had flat tires and it hadn't run for two and a half years. Um, and it, it needed, you know, some work, but I got it. And um, he supplied me lots of uh, spare parts, all packaged from Kawasaki, which was really helpful. But I spent some money on it and got everything sorted. Then finally, we had a TPS problem. Um, so I had to fit a new TPS and that was a little problematical. Um, but now, the bike is all but ready. It just needs some fine tuning. And at the end of this, I'll show the, show the ride uh, I had today on the bike, where I talk about some of the different elements of, um, uh, of, of riding the thing. It, it is different to the 12, uh, sorry, the 14 and the 11. Similar but different. And um, I still have a slight problem. There's a slight hesitation on the throttle after you roll off and then you roll back on, there's a stutter. Um, but it's going in tomorrow for a couple of days to be fine tuned. So hopefully I can get rid of that. Otherwise, the bike is running perfectly. And uh, has it lived up to my expectations? Well, I've only ridden it a little bit the last few days, um, but already it's as good as I hoped it would be. Um, and it's putting a stupid grin on my face. I finished riding it, I rode it for a couple of hours this morning and I'm already, I'm still smiling. Um, there's definitely something about the bike. Um, you can understand why there's fans and I'm so glad I finally got one. And then it goes really well with the, they're all black, I don't know why. My bikes are all black, I don't choose it, it's just what's available. So, but it's it goes really well with the 14R, the ZZR and uh, and, and the 12 itself. It's um, different. How can we put it? I mean, on the video, I make some comments about the, the, the things I've noticed so far. But the ease of uh, turning, the, 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 the flickability of it compared to the other two, they you can flick them, don't get me wrong. Those of you who see my videos know that you can flick them. But there's so little effort required. Um, I can't wait to take it. Next weekend, I'll be taking it to the bends, my favorite bends, which I've done on these two many times. And, and that will give me a really, um, something really substantial to compare, if you know what I mean. So, but I know it's gonna do well. So what have I noticed so far? Uh, well, the flickability. Um, I've gone for a 190 55 tire rather than the OEM 250. One because of uh, ease of finding a new tire. And the other one is I looked at all the ZZR, or sorry, the ZX 12R websites and the owners were split. Some went 190 55. Now, because I like Benz, I decided, um, that was the main reason I decided to go with 55. So I had to modify the hugger a little bit, but that's fine. There's a real character to the bike. It's, uh, I mean, all of these have character, but there's something rather unique about the 12. Um, so hopefully next weekend I can post the stutter will be gone and I can post uh, a video of it really going for it around the bends. Um, already it inspires confidence. And yesterday I rode it, I had to go, I went back to the original owner actually because I promised him that when I got the bike back on the road and say it hadn't been started for two and a half years and it needed some work, I promised him I would go back and let him see it. So I went back, I got stuck in traffic, terrible traffic in Manila, 
and you know I was roughly in traffic for nearly two hours because I got lost as well being a twat and um, no it was fine the bike didn't overheat uh, I was really impressed uh, a lot of bikes overheat in Manila traffic and the temperatures were suffering at the moment so at the at the end of this video, what I will do is I will uh, add on the video of today's uh, little ride. Um, I mean, it was nothing special. I, I got up to 200 kilometers an hour once, but I mean, it does it so simply, it, it, you know. Uh, you know you know, all these three bikes are very powerful and they go very fast, very quickly. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a hell of a machine and it's uh, living up to everything I expected, even more. Um, the problem is now, which bike do you ride? I'm a very lucky chap. Um, so the big question is now, which one to ride? Well, tomorrow I'll be riding the 14, uh, because this one, I'll be riding this one to take it to the tuning place, and then I'll be riding this one afterwards. And then the on Wednesday, I have to go somewhere, so I'm gonna take the 11. Um, but it's a nice problem to have. I'm pretty lucky. All right, so uh, watch the video. Um, the video, I'm using a chest harness with GoPro, and uh, for some reason it, it moved to the left, so it's like the camera is sort of hanging off, you know, but uh, it, it's okay. All right, so anyway, cheers, guys. Ciao. See you, guys. in so easily quite amazing it changes direction effortlessly certainly in comparison to the that are 11 and the 14. Stutter. And there, stutter. It's not a smooth transition. There's a stutter when you try and open the throttle again. So, 
brakes are good. Not as fierce as the uh, 14R. Uh, more progressive. Similar to the six pots I have fitted to the ZZR11 but stronger than the ones fitted to the 11 requires less lever pressure it is remarkably stable even though the steering head angle is quite acute in comparison to say the ZZR11 but it feels very stable There's a nice pull on your arms when you accelerate. It's similar to the 14R in the in the pull. Um, maybe not quite the same instant snatch that you have on the 14R, but then again, I've still got this fueling issue, which is perhaps impacting that. But no doubt it's uh, damn quick. Uh, I can't wait to get it fine-tuned to eradicate this uh, stuttering. The yeah, gearbox is nice. Action on the clutch is nice. I mean, I'm only using a small amount of the power available but it's uh it's an impressive piece no doubt there that stutter there again it's annoying when you roll off the throttle to change gear and then you snap the throttle open once you change gear it's when the stutter happens there another stutter really are out of my eye line. I just left the indicator flashing there and with the seating position it's well out of my eye line the instrument. I'm really getting to like this like I don't know what it is about it but there's something like just get this damn stuttering sorted out I'm getting more comfortable with the seating position a few aches and pains. I rode it in a lot of heavy traffic yesterday and uh, the inside of the thighs, the, the tendon, is a little sore but today it feels fine and it's just your body adapting to the different seating position. Yeah, brakes are strong. 
I like these brakes. Strong but progressive, you know, when you've got no ABS, you don't want them coming on, you know, full jack. Now uh, hopefully I can get it fixed over the next couple of days. Let's say it's going in for two or three days to sort out this fueling issue.